Hi everybody, my name is Stacy, and I'm the science librarian for the Pierce County Library. This is Kiwi and we are spending time in my play cave. And this video is about play caves and I'm sharing it with you because a lot of kids right now are making them and spending a lot of time in them. And I wanted to share with you that it's really natural and healthy for kids to make play caves. They um, make them normally between the ages of about five and 13. And as kids are gaining independence, they're really wanting um, more control over their world. And when building a play cave, kids can completely control their own environment and build what's in their imagination and just have their own very secret place. And then once it's already built, and uh, they have a huge stress relief when they're in there because you can shut out all that's going on in the adult world and just have this own secret place where they can control. Um, so it just feelings wise, it's really great for kids. And then in terms of learning, kids learn a lot when they are making the cave, they gain problem solving skills. What materials are best? How do I best attach materials to the wall? Um, construction skills, engineering skills, and they even get some exercise when they're running around the house trying to figure out um, what materials they should use. If you'd like to encourage your kids to make play caves, it's easy, just bring up the idea. And if they are into it, they're into it, that's great. Um, and you can provide some just basic materials. Say, hey, do you want to use this sheet or this box we got from um, that came in the mail? That's all you need to do. Uh, this next part of the video is actually for kids. So if you want to pause it and go get them, um, you're welcome to. Hi everybody, my name is Stacy, and I work for the library and I'm coming to you from my house in this play cave that I've built. Uh, normally I'm at the library and I'm making things with kids and I'm reading with kids and it's super fun. And, but lately I haven't been able to do that and it just feels like I don't have control over anything and I'm just really struggling with that and I wish I could go back to the library so I made this cave and it's really made me feel better. I have been reading in here and spending time with my cat Kiwi in here. He clearly likes the cave too. He's welcome in here. And I've been reading Harry Potter. I really like Harry Potter. I've been spending time with my teddy bear and my giraffe. And it's just been super fun. Uh, I want to show you how I made the cave just because I'm really proud of it. So this here is a sheet and I attached it to a light um, up high and that's worked really well. And that is a blanket attached to a um, fireplace. This is the window to the outside, and that's Oscar! And this is the door to my cave, and that is attached to a curtain rod. Some of these things I needed to get help with, um, just to get someone taller to help me, and that worked well. Um, if you want to build a play cave, go for it. They're super fun. And I'd love to see pictures of them someday. And I'd love to just see them. And I can't wait to see all of you back in the library again soon. Um, bye for now. And I'll see you again soon.